Hi everyone, Mrs V here and we are in the lockdown lab again. This is also known as my kitchen. Today we're going to be looking at precipitation reactions. Precipitation reactions are reactions where you put two solutions together and it forms an insoluble salt. Now when you do this in your lab at school, you are likely to use a spotting tile. But in the lockdown lab we don't have a spotting tile so we will be using this very nice salad bowl as our spotting tile today. So let's get on with the experiment. Okay, I've put three drops of each of these sodium salts into the dimples in my spotting tile. And the first nitrate that I am going to try with them is silver one nitrate. So I'm going to add just a few drops of silver nitrate to each of these. Let's have a look what happens. So this is silver nitrate and sodium hydroxide we can see immediately that a white solid formed. Sodium carbonate and silver one nitrate. Again, we have a white solid. Let's try silver nitrate with sodium chloride. Again, we've made a precipitate, a white solid. Now, sodium sulfate. Ah, no solid formed in that one. So it doesn't happen every time and sodium iodide with silver nitrate. Again, we've made a white solid. So these are the reactions of silver one nitrate with those salts. I want you to note those down in your results, please. Okay, the next nitrate that we are gonna try is strontium nitrate. So I've cleaned off my salad bowl and I have refilled the dimples with the sodium salts. Let's have a look with strontium nitrate. First of all, sodium hydroxide. Oh, okay, we've got sodium hydroxide and sodium carbonate at the same time, both making a precipitate. Sodium chloride, nothing. Sodium sulfate and sodium iodide. So we've got a precipitate with sodium hydroxide and sodium carbonate, but none of the others. Okay, our next nitrate is barium nitrate. Let's see how it goes. Barium nitrate and sodium hydroxide. Very, very fine white precipitate there. With sodium carbonate, again, a white precipitate. With sodium chloride, nothing. Sodium sulfate, a white precipitate. And sodium iodide, nothing. Okay, copper two nitrate. Let's have a look with sodium hydroxide. Not too much happening. Oh, it is a very, very fine precipitate. With sodium carbonate, Again, we see that fine precipitate forming. It's taking a little while though. With sodium chloride, nothing. Sodium sulfate, nothing. And sodium iodide. Oh, there's a yellow brown precipitate appearing with that one. Okay, iron three nitrates turn. So with sodium hydroxide, mm, nothing much, just diluted the solution. Oh, maybe it's going a little bit cloudy. Sodium carbonate, oh, definitely a cloudy precipitate. I can see the sodium hydroxide is quite cloudy now. Sodium chloride, nothing. Sodium sulfate, Nothing. Sodium iodide. Again, I'm just going to put a white background underneath it so you can have a better look. Now it's much clearer to see that we do have a precipitate with sodium hydroxide and sodium carbonate there. Just a couple to go now. It is time for zinc nitrate. So zinc nitrate with sodium hydroxide. 
nothing much happening there. Sodium carbonate. Oh, a very fine precipitate forming there. Very, very minimal though. Sodium chloride. Nothing. Sodium sulfate. Nothing. And sodium iodide. Nothing. Oh, and as time goes on, I can actually see the sodium hydroxide gradually forming a fine precipitate as well there. Okay, our last one, calcium nitrate. Calcium nitrate, sodium hydroxide. Oh, I see a fine white precipitate forming there. Sodium carbonate. Again, a white precipitate. Sodium chloride. Nothing. Sodium sulfate. Doesn't seem like much is happening there. And sodium iodide. Again, doesn't seem like much occurred there at all. So now you've seen which solutions do react and which solutions don't react, I have a challenge for you. Can you work out which negative ion is the most likely to form a precipitate? That's all for today. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video.